So following the BNP Paribas Open this weekend, Indian Wells' tournament CEO Raymond Moore commented on how female tennis players should get on their knees for male tennis players. Take a look at the video. My next life when I come back, I want to be someone in the WTA because <laughs> they, they ride on the coattails of the men. They don't make any decision, then they're lucky. They're very, very lucky. I, if I was a lady player, I'd go down every, every night on my knees and thank God that the Roger Federer and the Rafa Nadal were born. Okay, so a few things before I move on to the next video. First of all, lady player, no. <laughs> Second of all, telling a woman to get on her knees, double no. Third of all, Federer, uh, 17 Grand Slams, need all 14 Grand Slams, Serena Williams, 21 Grand Slams. Now let's see what else he had to say about uh, lady players. The WTA have a handful, not just one or two, but they have a handful of very attractive uh, prospects that can assume the mantle. You know, Muguruza, uh, Jeannie Bouchard, uh, you could just go, they, they have a lot of very attractive players. And I mean, I, and the standard in ladies tennis has improved unbelievably. And if you, you go out... Do you mean physically attractive or competitively attractive? No, 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 I don't, I mean both. Uh, both. You know, uh, they are physically attractive and, and competitively attractive. They're all right, so he doubled down there talking about their uh, physical appearance. Uh, now, one of the competitively attractive players, uh, Serena Williams, did respond to his comments. Let's take a look at that video. Uh, the men wanted to be down on their knees, thanking any, anybody like that. I think those remarks are very much mistaken and very, very, very inaccurate. So I'm actually going to defend yeah. him a little bit, but boy, he makes it hard to. <laughs> yeah, a little bit, just a little bit. Now, uh, Billie Jean King also came out uh, against his comments, saying that she was disappointed, that he was wrong on so many levels. Now, Billie Jean King, of course, being the co-founder of uh, the Women's Tennis Association, who arguably a lot of the lady players should actually be thinking because she did break barriers there. Uh, now, the uh, winner of the... Uh, BNP Paribas Open this weekend, uh, I always mess up his name, Novak Djokovic, uh, did have an opportunity to respond to his comments. And this was really an opportunity for him to kind of, you know, support women. And instead, he said why men should be making more money than women, uh, commenting on how the stats are showing that we have much more spectators uh, on the men's tennis match. He also uh, said that their bodies are much different to men's bodies. They have to go through a lot of different things that we don't have to go through. You know the hormones and different stuff. We don't need to go into details. Ladies know what I'm talking about. Okay, mm. so let, let me jump in here. Yeah. All right, so for, let me defend the, the lady thing, right? So I don't know if that's in that, is, it, is he Australian, uh, Raymond Moore? Um, whether that's uh, a word that's used more often in Australia, he mm -hmm. sa sounded Australian. Um, and and or it's an old school way of talking. I don't think that's a big deal at all. Okay, I could be wrong, but that's my interpretation. Okay, um, and are the men's tennis players better? Well, of course they are, right? Uh, but I don't think that's the issue here. Right? Um, do they get higher ratings? Do they draw in more people? I think that is an issue, and that is a worth discussing. Hold, let's yes. hold that conversation. But before we get to that, let me tell you all the things I disagree with. So first off. Don't ever talk about women getting on their knees, right? That's such a stupid way of putting it. If you didn't mean it that way, the minute that comes out of your mouth, you should be like, well, I don't mean it like that. I meant, you know, that, hey, it's, they're lucky that we're in the same sport. And even so, saying they're lucky, God, that sounds bad, yep. right? <laughs> you say, hey, it's great, we're in the same sport. And yes, of course, the men get better ratings. And so maybe that helps. Uh, the women players, but they're wonderful and they're fantastic and a lot of people watch women players mm -hmm. in their own right. That would be one way to go. But then when you add in the attractiveness thing, right, do, don't do that, don't do that. Yeah. I mean, it's one thing for a guy sitting at home going, oh yeah, she's hot. Yeah, have you done that? Have I? I don't know. I don't know that I've ever done that. But I'm just saying, but if you're involved in tennis yeah. and you've made these controversial comments, maybe he doesn't realize how controversial they are, but he had to know a little bit. And then they ask you in a follow-up, do you mean physical attractiveness when you're talking about No, their no, yeah, I mean they're hot. Yeah, I don't say that, don't say no. that, that's so stupid. And for Djokovic, 
Don't bring hormones into it. <sighs> it's a bad idea. He literally brought up periods. Like the one thing you were never supposed to bring up. He was yeah. like, oh yeah, and I mean, they play pretty well for having blood coming out of their vajayjays. That's literally what he said. Like that's, don't go anywhere near ah! Trump. I mean, when you was talking about, you know, it reminded me of Trump a little yeah. bit, is the tax against Megyn Kelly. So now on the issue though, on the substantive issue of, okay. well, the men men's players do get better ratings, I believe, you have the numbers. Okay, yes. And, and is that a relevant comment? Right. Okay, so his comment basically is getting into the fact he's like, okay, I think we should be pays, paid on uh, how much uh, sponsorships we get and how many viewers we get and things like that. Now, excluding Grand Slams, uh, the men's, it, the ATP events get about 973 million versus women's who get 395, okay? Uh, Wimbledon, the min men's final, attracted 9.2 million viewers versus women's 4.3. But in the previous two years, the U.S. women's final was watched by more viewers than the men's, so they're you know definitely making a, a, a comeback there. And in um, 2015, the U.S. Open women's final sold out well before the men's. So people are getting more and more into women's tennis. And I think the problem is here when we talk about you know we're comparing uh, how many viewers they get to women's. They've had a lot more opportunities to get those viewers, right? So women's weren't women's matches weren't played on primetime television until 2001. So only, a, frankly, a few years ago, right? Mm -hmm. And so uh, when you first of all have a huge disadvantage, tennis has been a sport since 1877. Uh, when you have a huge advantage time-wise to to garner a bigger audience, and you're getting more money pumped into advertisement and more money pumped into having those players, those. Uh, Nadal, Federer, uh, Djokovic all get way more endorsement Mar deals than Serena Williams. And hence more marketing. Exactly, more marketing and so you, they, they become more household names. Although I do have a graph here that uh, Serena Williams is searched more on uh, Google than Federer and Nadal uh, combined. Or no, excuse me, Djokovic and Federer combined. She still is getting some sort of, of support behind her but still not given the same opportunities as they are. Not enough to really justify the huge pay gap. Uh, can we go to graphic number seven? Uh, that is is really persistent in this in this sport. Mm -hmm. So you can see there. This is a, a dollars earned versus the player ranking. Men still make a ton more money, even when you go down to lower rankings than than women. Okay, so that is a compelling case, Hannah. Thank you. And my uh, answer to that is not buying it. <laughs> Why? Jake? Okay. Why? So, first off, uh, for the guys making this case, I don't know if I'm on that team, right? They couldn't have picked a worse sport because, like in basketball, there's a dramatic difference not only in the the play of the players, but but in the ratings, the the ticket sales, etc. Right. And so, I don't know if the WNBA exists if the NBA doesn't exist. Okay. So, I. Uh, they would have had a pretty good case in basketball, is my point, right? Um, but in tennis, a lot of the stars uh, on the women's side are superstars, right? So it's not like people don't know Serena Williams. So on this, I'm agreeing with you, okay? Yeah. And and in t I think tennis is as close a sport there is between men's side and women's side, right? Uh, I don't mean that if you take Serena Williams, can she beat Djokovic? No, of course not. But I mean in terms of star power, in terms of why people come out to watch tennis. Uh, and so, are there a lot of factors involved? Yeah, sport matters. For example, bowling. Nobody's watching men's or women's bowling. It doesn't really matter, right? So I'm giving you all this context. But now, overall, they do rate better, right? Right. So you can find a couple of instances, and you have where women have gotten a little bit better ratings, or they've sold out quicker, and that is because they do have significant star power in Serena Williams and some of the others. Uh, but but, if, but having, if, if the men are consistently rating better and drawing better, that brings in more revenue. But, hence, they get paid more. That but makes Jake, sense. Of course, to me. they're going to get more revenue if they're getting better spots on TV. If more advertising is being pumped into promoting those uh, games and things like that, of course, they're going to get more because that, that's how the money is being spent. Right. I mean, then so you the could question argue, is, wait, hold on, because then you could argue like. Well, um, women make seventy-seven cents to the, the dollar to men, because you know men men do a lot more work essentially, and they're you know what I mean. You can make the same argument. You say no. Or okay, you're saying men vote first, right? Mm -hmm. So men women didn't vote till whenever. Then 
they uh, they have more count to their vote because they really started the vote and whatever because they were given uh, an increased opportunity than these women were. So, I I think that again context matters so much. So, for example, if we're starting we're looking at starting salaries at law firms, it's unconscionable for women and men to have different starting salaries because nobody knows how good they are yet, right? We're all hiring, they're all first year attorneys, they should all have the same salaries. Right. So you can't say a man should get paid more or a woman should get paid more, that's preposterous. Now, later on when people have to make judgment calls, we should be really careful how we make those judgment calls because of the unconscious bias that you're referring to, yeah. right? And the institutional factors at play. So those are great points. But it is still entirely possible that a man or a woman is better than the other person of another gender at that job and should get paid more, of course. 100%. Right. But I still feel like, especially in, in sport, first of all, uh, most sports actually do give men prize, way men more prize money than they do for the women's like equivalent, right? Mm -hmm. So that's already at, at the baseline. And tennis is actually one of the sports where they are trying to to even the playing field, especially with pay. Even though obviously, as you saw in that graph, we're not there yet. But if you're given so many more opportunities and and they're having these these advertisements pumped in, you can't even compare them at some point. So well, here's my point on that and. On the issue of television, you're right, men had a big advantage coming in and people are more used to watching men play tennis, let alone all the sports. On the other hand, women have been uh, on TV playing tennis for a long, long time. I mean, and you can get into the issue of when they got the better slots, etc. Uh, but I, I would be very surprised if TV executives saw good enough ratings uh, from women's uh, tennis and decided, no, I don't want the extra money. Like if they if they want if women's tennis did better than men's tennis, and of course they know that the, the anybody who works in television but, is an executive but it can't knows as well. no 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 knows the context of the time periods. Meaning that hey, for example, uh, if you're starting cable news, right, the lead-in is not going to get as well as the next show because it builds into the next show. Uh -huh. In some cases, it's the reverse. Mm -hmm. So there's a prime time, there's and a after off. prime time, yeah. there's a fall off. Every TV executive knows right. that. And within that context, if women's tennis was doing as well or better than men's tennis, believe me, they changed the time slot. But I'm saying they they're not they they don't even have the opportunity to even see if that's uh, that's a thing that's going on because they're not putting the same amount of money into advertising, the same amount of money into making like these players seem like these bigger than life individuals. They're spending all that money on the on the men's side. Yeah, so they might so be they wrong. can't compare it. So Hannah, I'm not saying that they are definitively right and that there's no chance that they could be wrong about that calculus, mm -hmm. but they are making that calculus. And that calculus I believe is driven more by uh, profit motive, which you know, we take that as for whatever you want to judge that or not judge that, more by profit motive than it is by institutional bias. But I could be wrong. Maybe that we go and, and 10 years, 20 years from now, we realize no, they were just assumed that the men were going to do better. But mm -hmm. when they flipped the time periods or they flipped the marketing budgets, yeah, that's women what actually I think did better. But be I'd be surprised because they it has been around for a, a decent amount of time. And I think that the profit motive is strong. If it had already been the case, they probably would have gotten to that point.